Before watching this video, please go to the links in the description to learn how to install FFmpeg and Media Tab. Without them, this function cannot be performed. Welcome to another Temple of Gear episode. This video is in response to having YouTube Shorts refuse to add a video from your mobile phone using the Create Short Plus sign saying, Unable to preview video. This will prevent you from being able to add a custom thumbnail rather than having YouTube just generate a random frame from your clip. This seems to be mostly a DaVinci issue. So now let's take a look at the properties of this video I just rendered from DaVinci. And as you can see, the stock windows property details tab doesn't give us all the information we would like to see. That's why we installed the media tab. With media tab, we get more information. So let's click on the media tab. In the media tab, we can now see that the problem is that when you render a video in DaVinci, it puts the time code for not only the MP4 extension, but also the QuickTime time code. What we want to do is remove this entire section called Other, which contains the time code that is causing the issue. So to begin, we simply click on an open space in the address bar and type in CMD. This will bring up the command prompt. Sorry, I have multiple monitors. I'll drag this into this one. So now that we have that positioned, we can drag in a notepad, which has the command that we will need. It will be in the description as well. Now that we have that in place, we'll just copy and paste the command into the command prompt using the control V, paste it into the blinking cursor. So now, take a look at the command. And you can see it has an input and an output that need to be replaced with the proper information. Now this is just copying, not re-encoding the video and audio tracks while removing the time code. So we'll start by removing the input.mp4. Tab over. Once we have that, we're going to right click on the video file and we're going to select copy as path. Once again, control V to paste it into the blinking cursor. So now we have the entire path for our target video. At this point, we could just hit enter and the video would be copied without the time code, ready to use, but would be labeled as output.mp4. But I'm going to name it to show how it's done. So we'll give it the same name, except for adding something to make it different from the original file at the end, making sure to add the .mp4 extension. So we'll just move it out of the way. And we're going to uh, hit enter. And we'll see the magic happen. So now we've made an almost exact copy of the original minus the unwanted time code. So now to check and make sure the procedure worked, we can look at the properties of each file using Media Tab once again. Now, as we can see, the original file still has the time code that will be rejected by YouTube as seen in other. But now when we scroll down on the new file, the complete other section containing the time code is removed and will now upload as a YouTube short from your mobile device. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps. And as always, stay safe, stay in tune. Spike out.